Hi, how's it going everyone? Welcome to another React Native AR tutorial. In today's video, we'll be going over the viral AR image marker, which can be used to render 3D objects or animations after detecting a certain image. So I recently put out a YouTube short demonstrating how this works, and someone had reached out on Instagram to go over how to implement this functionality. And if you need the source code to the Tesla demo, you can find the link in the description below. So for my project, I've set up a new React Native uh, application using the Viral Starter Kit. And all I have been displayed on the screen is this 3D object of the skull that we uh, went over in the previous video. But what I want now is that after scanning this image, then I want the skull being uh, presented to me. So we'll go ahead and uh, implement that functionality. So as you can see, I've got my uh, skull object being uh, displayed here on the screen. And it's a bit big now, but we'll fix that in a moment. So I've got it right right in front of me. So I'll just uh, close the application now. Now the first thing we need to do, uh, just like with the animations, the first thing we did is we registered the animation before we actually applied it to the object. So in order to register our target, which will be the skull object here, we first need to import uh, viral tracking targets. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's this one here, so viral AR tracking targets, and then let's go ahead and register our target here. So it will be viral AR tracking targets dot create targets. So I've got GitHub Copilot already uh, completing that for me. And then, so the first thing uh, we'll give our target the name. In this case, I'll just call it uh, skull image. Uh, we don't need to put that in a string, we can just have it like that. And then it will be an object. So here we need to pass uh, three parameters. The first one will be the source to our skull image. So let me uh, get the path right. So it's assets forward slash skull forward slash uh, it will be the skull image here. Let me just get the name and then paste it in here. Okay, so there we go. And then the next parameter would be the orientation. Uh, we'll go with up in this case, and I'll go over this uh, a bit later. And then the next thing we need is the physical width. So again, GitHub Copilot is already completing that for me. And then for my real world width, I'll just uh, pass 165. And then we'll go all over these uh, in a moment. So here we've uh, registered our target. So when we scan the skull image, uh, we need to then uh, render our object. So we'll pass this as our target when we actually import uh, viral AR uh, image marker. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and import viral AR image marker. And then we're going to wrap our entire scene in the viral AR image marker. So let's go ahead and do that. So viral AR image marker, let's wrap our scene there and then what we need to pass to our viral AR image marker is our target so we'll set our target to skull image which will be this one there and then we can also add a function uh, called on anchor found meaning once the anchor has been found or once the image has been detected uh, we can run a certain function so in my case I'll just uh, console log anchor found so let's uh Add that on anchor found, and then we'll just uh, call our function anchor found. Then I'll go ahead and create my function anchor found. And then here we'll just console log. anchor or slash image detected there we go and then let's just uh, build and run our application once more yeah. 
so the build was successful uh, let me go ahead and run the application on my phone and then I'll also record my screen so we'll just give that a moment to run so it should launch any second now and what should happen is that the skull that was appearing in the beginning it shouldn't appear now only once I've scanned this image then it should pop up right in front of it so let's just give it a moment and then also once the image is detected, uh, we should have a console log here saying uh, anchor forward slash image detected. So as you can see, uh, the 3D object is not appearing, but once I actually go ahead and scan this image, and then I'll also uh, place my console on the side here, or let's maybe just move that. Once I scan the image, uh, there we go. Let me just reload this. So we don't have the skull appearing, but once I have my image popping up, then there we go. And then on the terminal, uh, we have this anchor forward slash image detected. Now let's try and change some of these values that we have here. So we have orientation set to up. Uh, let's see what happens when we change it to down. So we have our skull being displayed in a different orientation, basically. Uh, we can also set this to maybe uh, something like left. And we have it in the left orientation. So you get the idea what happens there. And then physical width, maybe if we change this to a different value, uh, let's try one. Let's see what happens. So the size basically changes. Yeah. There we go. Let's just uh, have this back it up. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Uh, see what you can do with the Vario AR image marker and be sure to share if you uh, implement anything interesting. Cheers, guys.